Is your hand. And what is this? Is your cheek. So, will I ever be able to slap my cheek using my hand? And if so, how many steps will it take? Two steps. We're right here in the streets of the bronze. This is Matt for the bronze. And today we're going to look at infinite steps. Okay, so let's ask this, uh, this individual right here. So, this is my hand and this is my cheek. I'm going to slap myself by taking steps from my hand to my cheek. Now, how many steps do you think it will take to slap myself? Normally, it should take one step from the brain, but I'll give it three. Okay, so he says one or three. Yeah, one time. to three. Okay, so one to three steps, okay. What did you see? My chick. Will I ever be able to slap myself on the face? Yeah. yeah. I'm doing it right now. Ow. Oh, you think I'll be able to somehow, miraculously, able to slap myself? Yeah. Oh, I just did. But we, will I be able to explain how I slap myself on the face? Yeah. Will I be able to do that? It's because, because your you, hand will, you told uh, yourself, you, know, you told your brain, oh, I want to slap myself. Uh -huh. And your brain, uh, you sent a message down your mirrors into your hand to uh, make the exact coordination to make your hand fly towards your cheek and slap it. We caught a fool. We caught a fool. We caught a fool in the classroom. Okay. Now. Let's have Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the history of maths. In this today we're gonna talk about Zeno's paradox. Uh, Zeno was lived twenty five hundred years from now in the place called Greece. He was a Greek mathematician. Why do we love him? We love him because he contributed to math a lot, but I love him for a personal reason. He wrote nine paradox and one of them we're gonna one of the interest mathematician and physicists across the world including myself I'm going to talk about that now and this is called Achilles and Tartarus all right there was a rift between Achilles and Tartarus of course Tartarus was slower and Achilles was uh, faster will the faster Achilles be able to cast the slower Tartarus this is the paradox I'm going to draw it who am I going to give a head start? Of course, Achilles. Achilles needs a tortoise. Tortoise need a head start because tortoise is slow. Why does the tortoise look like a car? Um, because I'm a horrible artist. I'll draw that. Well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't need a pic. I, it's a math class for God's sake. I don't need Picasso. You. Yeah, but a tortoise needs a head. All right, now. Will, will the Achilles ever be able to get here? course but when the Achilles gets here the tortoise will not be here it was 10 meter or well, 10 meter ahead 10 meter more so 110 meter will the Achilles ever be able to yes but tortoise will be one meter will that so it's continuous process but the question is will the Achilles ever be able to catch tortoise the answer is Achilles' speed never changes, constant speed yeah, and Tartarus' speed never changes. Will yeah, 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 Achilles yeah. ever be able to? But, uh, yeah, uh, no, if Achilles' speed is slower than the turtle or equal to the turtle, and yes, if the, the Achilles uh, All right, let's, slightly faster than the Let's turtle. make the problem easy. What do you see? Uh, two yeah. hands. Two hands, right? My left hand and my right hand. right hand. Okay, forget about hand. What do you see? My right hand. What do you see? Face. My chick. Will I ever be able to slap myself on the face? Yes. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. Ow. Oh, you think I'll be able to somehow miraculously able to slap myself? Yeah. Oh, I just did. But we, will I be able to explain how I slap myself on the face? Yeah. Will I be able to do that? It's because, because your you, hand will, you told uh, yourself, you, know, you told your brain, oh, I want to slap my face. Uh -huh. And your brain, uh, you sent a message down your mirrors into your hand to uh, make the exact coordination to make your hand fly towards your cheek and slap it. We caught a fool. We caught a fool. We caught a fool in the classroom. Okay. Now, let's have... Oh, no. Yeah, let's have two hands uh, 
two meters separate from each other. Does that make sense? In order to slap my this fair hand in here, will you be able to, Fox, will you be able to complete an infinite process? No. The, co the answer is no. Why not? Excuse me, guy on the back. Will you ever be able to complete an infinite process? No. Why not, guy on the back? The answer is rejected. Why you can never be able to? Because. Guy on the back, shut up. Uh, okay, so because, you. Because the limit of force is infinity. Uh oh. Fool, I have a fool. I have a fool in the classroom. Guy on the back, try again. Okay, so. Uh, Too late. Oh, no. Oh, you are trying. Oh, you are repeating. You are repeating yourself. I have a fool in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Now you, you are googling it, but my friend is yeah. not on the Google. Oh, again, you are repeating yourself. I have two fools in the classroom. Now you cannot complete an infinite process. Is because there is no last step in an infinite process. Why you cannot? Why you cannot complete an infinite process? Why? It never ends. No. There is no last step. Is there any notion of last step? No. No. Is there is no last step to the process. Now, if there is no last step to the process, then how would I be able to use my right hand to slap my face? How? Um, yeah. How would I be able to slap my... If you don't believe it, then go try yourself. Would you be able to slap yourself on the face? No. You said no, but I just didn't. Oh. Let's try to explain it using mathematics. Contradiction. Ah, uh, that's why it is paradox. But don't worry. We in our lab try to unlock all the paradox. Okay? Now we just recently found a way to unlock this paradox. Okay, now are you with me? Excuse me, guy on the back. Um so let's say S is equal to what? The first I moved how long? Half. Half. So what is the half? Half. What is half of two? One. One, okay. You didn't say what it was half of. Oh, okay, and then and then half. Half. And then half. Half of two is one. Okay, half. Okay, and then half. And then half. And then half, half. is what? One sixteen. And then? You one think calculus, this will eventually approach two. No. It will eventually approach two. No. Okay, I have... No. I have I have two fools in the classroom. One thing is the approach is gonna be two, and another thing is it does not. Now one must win, one must lose because that's how I plan. Okay. Now, all right. So what can you do? Oh. Take the integral. Uh, no, we're not gonna take an integral. The, there is an easier approach. Can we multiply everything by half? We can multiply everything by half. Oh yeah, and then subtract. And then yeah, and then subtract, the, right? The so then... what are you gonna do? Half right? Half what? Half? Half of s. Half of s and then? Uh, equals half. Half I can write it here, right? Yeah. And then? Plus one four. Plus? Plus one eight. Plus? And now subtract them. But I want the Subtract yeah. them? Uh-huh. Cancel them. Green, green. Cancel. So yes. what is left? S minus half S is equal to 1, so S is equal to 2. Voila! That's what I said. Now, that's what you said, and that's what that guy on the back said. Wait, I want to say uh, something. You yeah. can only see how ridiculously close this uh, cycle gets to 2. I want to say, why does 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth equals 1 17 plus 132 plus 174 plus 128 already is 1.99. Guy on the back, why don't you shut up? Okay. Wait. Okay, now, now my question is, how did we able to finish that infinite process? Mm -hmm. If infinite process does not have last step. Oh, we took the limit. We d you did not see me taking the limit. Or is it legal? Can I give you another example? Can you give me a similar example in which we can, we can construct an infinite process legally? Yeah. What is this called? Line. What is this called? Guy in the back. Line. Line. Let's say this is one. Second. Line second. What is this called? Guy in the back. Uh, two lines I need to make. Would I be able to find 
the if you are hypothesis, what do you do? Oh, Take the hypotenuse. And if you are Pythagorean, the followers of Pythagorean, what did you do? Take him to the uh, river. And what did you do? Drown him. Drown him. Why? It's a crime. It's a crime, right? You... But forget about crime today. We'll commit the crime anyway because we are hypothesis. We are? Hypothesis. All right. Let's commit the crime. What is the crime over here? The square root of 2. The square root of 2. All right. Why this is a crime? Now, the square root of 2, no, does the square root no, 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 hold on there in the back. Uh, all right. Um, they don't, they God didn't like um, Erasmus. We're not going to change the subject. The square root of 2, does it have, does it have, does it have any end? No. What is the square root of 2? 1.4. No, can you give me all number? What? Oh. 1.414 1. 1. 1. 1. 4, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81